Well, hello everyone. My name is Assistant Professor Richard Collar from SPJ. I'd like to welcome you all to this very, very special day. Very, very special event, in fact. It's the 2021 postgraduate graduation ceremony. Today sees the culmination of a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice. But today is a happy day. Today is when you realise part of your fantastic achievement. So on behalf of SPJ, during these somewhat difficult times, we're very proud to present our graduation ceremony in a virtual environment. Sit back with your family and friends, enjoy the ceremony and have a wonderful day. Ladies and gentlemen, the academic procession is about to enter the hall. Once they do so, I will be asking you all to please join upstanding and sing the Australian National Anthem. I now invite two of our BBA students, Min Nguyen and Maureen Wolando, who will be leading us all today in the singing of the Australian National Anthem, Advance Australia Fair. Well, thank you, Min, and thank you, Maureen, for that lovely rendition of our Australian National Anthem, Advance Australia Fair. Ladies and gentlemen, guests, it now gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Christopher Abraham, a professor and also the head of campus in Dubai, to give his welcoming address. Professor Abraham. Distinguished guests, family and friends, faculty colleagues, and most importantly, the heroes and heroines of today, our dear graduates. It's my pleasure and privilege to extend a very warm welcome to each one of you on this momentous and special occasion. Graduation days are days of celebration. Graduation days are days of special memories. Graduation days are days when you reconnect 
with your friends, with your faculty members, and reconnect with fond, pleasant, exciting memories of varied experiences. And on this beautiful day, it's my pleasure once again, on behalf of all of us, faculty and staff, board of directors, the academic board of SP Jain School of Global Management to extend a very warm welcome to each one of you. This is a day that you will cherish, recall, and remember for the rest of your lives every time you want to have an image of this beautiful experience of the learning journey that you had at SPJ. It's my pleasure now to welcome Simran Garg, our undergraduate from the BBA, who will now recite the SP Jain prayer. Simran? Dear God, thank you for this special day. We ask your hand to be upon all those who graduate today. Be with us as we celebrate the achievements of our studies. Bless our lives from this day on with goodness and love. Help us stay true to our dreams, to use our gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. May this graduation day be a celebration of your life within us. We give you all the learning, the skill set, and the hard work of all these years. May we hold this memory in our heart as we continue on our adventure. Our dear Alma Mater, let your blessing follow us as we all find new journeys to travel. May your gentle hand guide the decisions that we will make and the passions that we follow. And may hope be alive within us that we carry into each new day. Today, we celebrate finishing a chapter in our own history. May we continue from this day and this place to create outstanding stories that surround us every day. Bless our friends and family who have gathered to encourage and support us graduates, and above all, our teachers, for the constant support throughout our learning journey that culminates here today. All this we ask in trust and faith. Thank you, Simran. And now I'd like to invite our esteemed chairman of the board, Emeritus Professor Alan Lindsay to declare the convocation proceedings open. Professor Lindsay. Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of the Board of Directors, I declare this congregation of the SB Jane School of Global Management duly assembled open. As Chair of the Board of Directors, the body that formally awards qualifications to graduates, it is my particular pleasure to welcome those graduating today. And a warm welcome also to family members and friends and the staff of SB Jane who are here today. Graduations are a time for happiness and joy, and a time for reflecting on the long journey you have now completed and the hard work and sacrifice involved in reaching this moment. Graduating is an important milestone in your life and career. Most of all, it is a day for celebrating. It is a day to remember all the help you have received from your fellow students, your family and friends, that have helped you achieve the goal of finishing your degree. Remember the sacrifices that they have made too. SB Jane School of Global Management has staff and facilities that are second to none. And the teaching and support staff play a central part in helping graduates achieve their goals. I particularly acknowledge their hard work dedication and commitment to quality. Today is thus the day for celebrating your achievements and for thanking those that have supported you. 
you will face many challenges ahead in these difficult and uncertain times. But the skills and knowledge that you've gained will assist you in meeting the challenges. The values underpinning the school and the course will support and guide you in the years ahead. The importance of leadership and teamwork, respect for equity, diversity and integrity. The key role that innovation and creativity will play in the future. My congratulations to all who are graduating today and my best wishes for your future success in the next stage of your life and career. Thank you. I now invite President Nittis Jane to deliver his address. A guest of honor, Mitch Lowe, Chairman of a Board of Directors, Professor Alan Lindsay, other members of the Board of Directors, deans, faculty, and staff of SPJ, parents, families, and my graduates, I warmly welcome each of you to the graduation ceremony today. Today is a day of celebrations, and I heartily congratulate all the graduates. You have earned your well-deserved degrees, and from this day onwards, you can proudly consider yourself an alumnus of SP Jane. Given the unusual circumstances, we chose to do an online graduation rather than not having a graduation ceremony at all. However, an online graduation ceremony has a silver lining. And we have today our guest of honor, Mitch Lowe, who is based in the United States. And I doubt a stalwart like him would come physically to Dubai to deliver the graduation address. But we have him for this online graduation. And you will always remember that Mitch Lowe, co-founder of Netflix, was your graduation speaker. Today we graduate students from a DBA, EMBA, GMBA, and MGB programs. In total, we have 224 graduating today. Our doctorate graduates can now call themselves or can use the prefix rather of doctor before their name. And how exciting is that? Our graduates of our other programs can also now use SP Jane in their CVs. And that is also very exciting. Today, as I mentioned before, is a day of celebration, but it's also the end of one chapter of your life and the beginning of a new chapter. One of the first thoughts you may have is why aren't you able to don robes and physically assemble in a grand ballroom? And perhaps you may even curse your bad luck. Though I am very sad, I am very sad that this in some way may have tainted your SPJN experience. But ironically, no successful person has not not faced adversity. I only have to remind you of the Indian Prime Minister Modi or Singapore's first Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew or the famous business person, Jack Ma. 
These are people you already know and who have already had faced adversity. But have you heard of Haresh Balani, Kumud Jha, Manoj Jain, or Chaitanya Chanduri? Yes? No? You haven't heard of them? Let me share with you that each of the above were alumni of S.B. Jain's GMBA 2009 cohort. And they graduated right in the middle of the financial crisis. Initially, they struggled, but they maintained a positive attitude. And today, Harish is a senior investment manager by the very prestigious Adia or Abu Dhabi's sovereign fund. Kumud is a senior managing director with Accenture Strategy in Singapore. Manoj is the principal of the Tata Strategic Management Group in Mumbai. And Chaitanya is the country lead for VR, AR lens for Google in India. Sometimes bad things happen and you have no control over this. But you have full control over how you react to it. There is little to be gained by blaming someone or blaming some event. Life will always throw up unexpected challenges. And at these moments, you need to be tough and resilient, be positive and be resourceful. This is what separates winners from other people. And I'd like to end my short address by reminding you that being an alumnus of SPGN comes with both its privileges and its responsibilities. The privileges include that you can now connect with 10,000 other alumni across the world and many are very senior positions. We have nine alumni chapters right from the US to Australia. However, I wish to also remind you of your responsibilities that you are now a brand ambassador for SVJN, in which we all have a stake in. So your performance at work and your character would determine what others think of SVJN. I wish to end with a quotation from the well-known Nelson Mandela who said, education is the most powerful weapon with which you can change the world. Let me repeat, in the words of Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Use it wisely to the benefit of your families and also to the benefit of society at large. And with this, I end by wishing each and every one of the graduates nothing but the very best of luck. Thank you. Well, everyone, we've now come to that exciting time in our ceremony today, I know all of you have been so eagerly awaiting this. And that is the conferral of our graduates' degrees. We'll start by presenting the degrees to our Master of Global Business graduates, followed by the MBA Global, the MBA Executive graduates, 
and then to our Doctor of Business Administration Scholars. With the graduands for the degree of Master of Global Business, please stand. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors, I hereby admit you to the degree of Master of Global Business. Would those graduates please be seated? Mr. Chairman, as Dean of the Master of Global Business Program, I present to you the distinguished graduates who have been conferred with the degree of Master of Global Business. They have excelled and earned the place in the Dean's List for achieving a cumulative grade point average in the top 10% of the class at the end of at least one or more than one term. Thank you. With three Dean's List medals, we have Julian Peter Hess, Lisa Marie Deviter, and Satyam Ganesh Kandish. And with two medals, we have Ananya and Talia Tariq Ahmed Khan. And lastly, with one medal, we have Priyanshi Rakesh Dalla. Rajshree Gupta, Roshni Sachdeva, Reuben Joseph. And with that, I present our MGB Dean's Listers. I now request the Chairman of the Board of Directors, Emeritus Professor Alan Lindsay, AM, to confer the remaining degrees of Master of Global Business. Abhishek Agawa. Adash Banka. Akash Mizra. Alyssa, Lorian, Lee, Tangler, Kalimbas, Anita, Anna, Alexander. Gagan Mittal. Parshit Agala. Hillary, Estelle, Ariola, Azucena. Hiral, Pak, Ramaya, Janhavi, Prasad, Gokali, Krishna, Maitili, Buntu, and Mansi, Mitali, Naresh, Fabiani, Nikesh, Manoj. Nikita Dinesh Bandi Vanaka Nikita Shetty Nitya Bansal Path Chopra Farm Kak Bu Pranith Machu Radhika Kumar, 
Raj Shekhar Choksi. Ranu Pruvi Raj. Telegum Set. Rohan Raj. Sahib Kaur. Sai Krishna Avanash Pulavati. Sarah Ashita Shur. Shreya Kutori. Shruti Deepak Malavani. Sohini Saha. Sri Lakshmi. Lomana Vayana. Shruddhya Nagesh. Suvam Agawa. Mr. Chairman, that concludes the presentation of the Master of Global Business graduates. With the gratitude hands of the Master of Business Administration Global, please stand. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors, I hereby admit you to the degree of Master of Business Administration Global. Will those graduates please be seated. Mr. Chairman, as Dean of the Master of Business Administration Global Program, I present to you the distinguished graduates who have been conferred with the degree of Master of Business Administration Global. They have excelled and earned their place on the Dean's List for achieving a cumulative grade point average in the top 10% of the class at the end of at least one or more than one term. With three Dean's List medals, we have Lavinia Sandra Rezia, Rajat Chandra Matu, and Vijay Kumar Pundalik Gita. With two medals, we have Matasa Saifuddin Kanzi and Shmriti Rajvansi. And finally, with one medal, Abhishek Sanpati and Akshay Ramesh. And with that, I present our MBA, Global Dean's Listers. I now ask the Chairman of the Board of Directors, Emeritus Professor, Alan Lindsay AM to confer the remaining degrees of Master of Business Administration Global. Akshay Gar. Anisha Abuja. Anit Nayak. Ashvan Ravi Kumar. Goyana Ranisnovich. Kamparenu Cornelia Christina. Christian Vasily Foria. Deshna Jane. Rishikesh Shridhar. Jubin Biju Palacero. Leander Mark Pinto. Manik Rastogi. Marian Hakui. Mateja Parija. 
Mohammed Shoaib. Nikhil Bondre. Rahul Pantai. Rajat Shah. Raluca Andrea Nadelku. Ratu Nida Paraha. Shreya Vinod Kumar Jana. Trina Sadukan and turn aside Mr. Chairman, that concludes the presentation of our MBA Global Graduates. I now invite our GMBA graduate, Rajat Chandra Mathu, to share his experience of his course. Respected dignitaries, faculty, staff, students, and their family members. At the outset, I would like to thank the SBJN School of Global Management for giving me an opportunity to address the esteemed gathering today. I would also like to thank all the students for making their presence in today's special occasion, and I would like to congratulate each and every one of them on their graduation day. When I look back at this MBA journey, I believe that this, in this journey has been knowledgeable, emotional, and inspirational. I would like to thank all the faculty for their constant support and guidance by accepting us and imparting their knowledge, making us ready for the business environment. The constructive feedback and the confidence that they showed in us made us push beyond our limits and be the people that we are today. I would also like to thank all my cohort members who have shared their knowledge and experiences, thereby making this journey knowledgeable. We started this journey as individuals, and today we are graduating as a family. The moments we shared will be cherished for a long period of time. When we started our journey, we never thought that it would be disrupted by a pandemic. But with the help extended by the college and the support of each other, made us realize that we have the ability to adapt and overcome any challenge that is thrown upon us. But more importantly, it showed the value of empathy and care that we had towards each other. And this is what makes this journey emotional. 9th of September, 2019, the day when we started this journey, and it was the orientation day. I, and maybe a few others, would have felt intimidated by the sheer amount of talent that was present in that room on that day. It was on that day when I started questioning myself, will I be able to make it? And today, we can proudly tell ourselves that yes, we made it. With sheer strength, courage, determination, and humbleness, we have achieved something that we would have felt is impossible, and today, we made it possible. We all have a story to share, and this is what makes this journey inspirational. I would now like to thank the President, Dean, and Assistant Dean for their constant support and guidance in both academic and non-academic matters throughout our journey. I would also like to extend my gratitude to the various departments at SPGEN, starting off with the Program Office, who were willing to accommodate all the requests that we had with respect to our academics. The Global Immersion Projects Committee for bringing various clients and projects, giving all us an opportunity to work on industry live projects. The Global Learning Committee for organizing various events and activities for us to understand the business and imbibe the culture of that region. The Facilities and IT Department for ensuring that we have a smooth and a comfortable experience. The counseling team for being ever so supportive. And finally, the PRP and the CR teams who were responsible to ensure that we are industry ready and ready for our career, helping us get the right organization for the right role and the right job. Thank you for all your efforts and being part of our journey. As I conclude the address today, 
I would like to uh, congratulate all the graduating students and also wish them the very best in their life. But I also want to tell them to go back and thank the special people who were part of their journey. Take a moment and, uh, and see the pride in the eyes of your parents, your partner, your family members, or your friends who were part of this journey and feel proud of the achievement that you have unlocked as a milestone of being called as an MBA graduate. I wish you all the very best and successful careers in your life. Stay happy and healthy. Thank you. Well, thank you, Raja, for that very insightful and very interesting expose to your experiences at SPJ. With the graduates of the Master of Business Administration Executive, please stand. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors, I hereby admit you to the degree of Master of Business Administration Executive. For those graduates, please listen. Mr. Chairman, as Dean of the Master of Business Administration Executive Program, I present to you distinguished graduates who have been conferred the degree of Master of Business Administration Executive. They have excelled and earned their place on the Dean's List for achieving a cumulative grade point average in the top 10% of their class at the end of at least one or more than one term. On this is our virtual graduation day, we have four executive MBA cohorts who are all graduating from Singapore, Mumbai, Dubai, and our online cohort. So let's begin with our MBA graduates from Singapore. Now with two medals, we have Ayushka, Vishwanath, Venugopal, and with one medal, we have Vicky Nugraha Putra, Avanash Misra, Pravin Kumar Mishra, Shailesh Misra, Tripti Parikh. From EMBA Mumbai, with three medals, we have Mosan Sunil Daftari. Now with two medals, we have Lionel Salvio Gajal. And with one medal, Mitesh Goyal. Sejal Rohan Dukande, Shivani Apte, Sujil Dilip Kumar Thakar, Palavi Ayagari, Raman Preet Singhbhatia. From EMBA Dubai, with two medals, Jeremy Marmen Matthew. And with one medal, Mithun Matthews. From our EMBA online, with three medals, we have Tejasi Kapil Purinda. And with that, I present our EMBA Dean's Listers. I now ask the Chairman of the Board of Directors, Emeritus Professor Alan Lindsay AM, 
to confer the remaining degrees of the Master of Business Administration Executive. Presenting the graduates from EMBA Singapore, we have uh, Peter Vishwanath, Arajothi Premanath, Aruna Sarani Arunasar, Ashley Xavier Alvarez, Chinmay Nadija. Gaurav Jayant Satalka, Indira Kumar Balasramani, Jai Prakash, Jason James, Karan Galanga Venerasium, Kaying Fazin. Pranay Kumar, Rinki Bansa, Senthil Kumar Subramanian, Siddhant Jayaram Iya, Siddharth Koshik, Sumit Bajaj, Say Lok Peng Vishwa Pravot Travedi And now from EMBA Mumbai we have Akash Raju Manghani Abhishek Anil Balmik Ajinka Avanash Chikte Anju Ramesh Datwani and Kita Mehta Ashish Rajendra Bhatia Bhavik Vijay Kumar Dalal Gaurav Haresh Punjabi George Varghese Gautam K.S. Hashit Kamal Shilpa Kinjal Parik. Jurnal Michael Galval. Krishna Menon. Mangesh Anil Chitnis. Manu Dixit. Minaksi Patel, Nihal Gandhi, Nelville Colin Nandkumar, Nikhil Anil Kusukar, Nikhil Kumar Thakur, Preeti Nirbhar. Rashna Timton Jehani, Rita Yada, Ritesh Badada, Suraj Gopanath, Neh. and Vikram Guman Neji. From EMBA Dubai, we have Abhinav Samuel Ayad Gargis Apit Vipul Mehta Ashvin Ravi Kumar Dapika Mehta Halima Bejui Jasem Hamad Muradi Kevin Moses Eugene Bunyan 
And lastly, from the EMBA online, we have Ashvini Yashvant Jogge, Ganesh Thamaray Zelbam, Himali Hashmuk Meta, Jonathan James, Pranayuna Chavan, Prasannan Prakashan, Rohit Atanka, Sanket Rabindra Gavate, Sathya Venkatesh Mala, Vivek Izu Kapali and Yatin Suhas Gokal. Mr Chairman, that concludes the presentation of the MBA executive graduates. I now invite our EMBA online graduate, Tejasa Purandare, to share her experience of her course. Good evening, Chief Guest of Honour, Dean Dr. Carey, distinguished faculty members, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to all the graduating students from all batches. Seeing the beaming smiles on each graduating person's face today, I remember our demanding yet fulfilling journey. For me, it started with a feeling that I needed to sharpen my skill sets. The feeling only grew stronger by the day and it became evident that an executive MBA was the way to go. SP Gen's student recruitment team was very helpful in explaining what to expect out of the EMBA course. They guided me in what I confidently say today was a perfect decision. Our induction was held at the Mumbai campus. After a gap from formal education, ranging from half a decade to a decade for most of us, there was an excitement as well as a fear of not being able to handle work and studies simultaneously. The welcoming faces of my dear batchmates calmed my anxiety. I remember Dean Dr. Gary's time management exercise as well as the emphasis on scheduling. We understood its importance soon after while we were juggling with work, family and studies. Each credit was well designed. Pre-readings, class learnings, quizzes, group discussions, assignments and exams gave an all-rounded exposure to each subject. GIP helped us compile our learnings and prepare a strategic report. The simulations that came towards the end created an environment close to reality for us to practice concepts. An ABR can be called our first application of all the EMBA knowledge acquired over 18 months, which could be utilized at work. Speaking for ELO Batch 2, we chose the online mode before the pandemic and never thought it would soon be a way of life. Online learning has been extremely convenient. From the comfort of our homes, we connected to the classroom where learning was just as effective. Also, our professors were happy about not having any backbenchers. I take this opportunity to thank the faculty consisting of highly knowledgeable, passionate and enthusiastic professors. They were always willing to address all our queries and kept high focus on active class participation. The highly engaging teaching methods made learning more relatable and interesting. Our classes started at 8.30 in the evening and went up to almost midnight. Never did we feel the burden. It is also worth mentioning that the faculty was truly global, bringing valuable insights we would otherwise find hard to come by. Further, I would like to thank the IT team who made the online experience simply perfect and seamless. They were always just a message or a call away, even at 11.30 in the night. Raghava, 
you are an incredible program manager. You just took everyone along the entire journey like our caretaker and friend, even though you had multiple batches to handle. Whatever support we needed was always offered on time and with a smile. We could focus on our studies, not having to worry about any administrative hiccups. Thank you. Dr. ABI, a big thank you for ensuring that we stay focused and making our journey hurdle free. You guided us throughout and always understood our perspective right from our first meeting. Thank you for everything. Dr. Gary, you have been reviewing our progress and feedback throughout. We cannot thank you enough for the timely guidance for our induction, GIP, specialization selection, and ABR. Thank you for addressing all our concerns we class reps brought to your attention. Your responses and problem resolutions were always apt and right on time. You have definitely brought the best out of all of us always. Thank you again. All said and done, the best part about being in college is making new friends. SPJ managed the perfect birds of the same feather in ELO batch 2 and flocked them together. An excellent mix of varied backgrounds with rich experiences. Each fellow batchmate added so much value to the learnings during group discussions, class engagements, assignments. We managed to motivate each other to get work done on time as well as have fun all along the way. I could not have made it through for almost the past two years without you, my dear batchmates. I cannot miss mentioning our families who sacrificed and adjusted a lot. And still, they motivated us to fulfill our academic ambitions for over one and a half years. Rightly said by B.B. King, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. So, enriched forever, we all move on with our newfound knowledge to become better leaders. We look forward to a continued strong association with SPJN as alumni. I wish all of you the very best for a bright future. Thank you to Jasa for sharing your insightful and interesting experiences during your time at SPJ. With the graduands, with the Doctor of Business Administration, please stand. By the authority vested in me, by the Board of Directors, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Business Administration. Those graduates, please be seated. Mr. Chairman, as the Dean of Doctorate of Business Administration Program, I present to you the distinguished scholars who have been conferred with the degree of Doctor of Business Administration. They excel in the research for the doctor degrees. Mr. Balasurumiyam did a wonderful thesis on disruptive technologies in smart cities. Mr. Bhreshwar Kumar, his thesis work on cyber security and maritime logistics. Ms. Jacqueline Mukur, her thesis work is on salesman satisfaction and consumer behavior. Mr. Jerome Soso, his thesis extends to internal branding of SMEs in Singapore. Mr. Kumut Star, his thesis on adoption of artificial intelligence in logistics industry is rated very well. Mr. Noel Thomas, he did a thesis on international student choice of Australia. Mr. Prashant Singhre, 
is this is is a customer value of energy of renewable energy was really very well it such a the core that this is our access to provide the services of telecom sector in india mr sharan varasat did a thesis on innovation culture of supply chain management mr sridhar viswanath his thesis is on value creation in dairy cooperatives was received very well mr sujatha sarathirinathan her thesis on block chain technology in accounting applications was received very well thank you very much Bala Subramanian Krishna Bireshwa Kumar Jacqueline Mercia Pereira Mundkur Jerome Vijayan Joseph Pillai Kumud Ranjan Jha Noel Thomas Prashant Shridhara Chingare Satya Jayoti Ka Shirad Parishar Shrida Vishwana and Sujata Sheshad Drinatha Mr Chairman that concludes the presentation of the DBA scholars i now invite our DBA graduate sujata shesha drinathan to share her experiences of her course namaste respected chief guest deans dr sita raman dr gang stockport Dr. Balakrishna Gandhi, academic team, Ms. Lakshmi Raman, Dr. A. V. R. Srinivas, Dr. Christopher Agrawal, and Mr. Nitish Jain sir, professors, my dear cohorts, and all of us who have come together for celebration of academic excellence here today. Congratulations for achieving life goals and milestones. An achievement more magnified in trying times like this. Cohorts, the first time I heard the word in September 2017, I was thrilled to bits. As I stand here honored to be representing my doctoral cohorts in this reflective speech memories come flooding back doctorate in business administration to aspire to be a part of the community of astute scholars is indeed a undertaking an arduous journey when we started off the journey most of us did not know what to expect i definitely did not moving out of the comfort zone of career achievements and plush corporate jobs with domestic and work pressures remaining a constant our ability to set out yet again in pursuit of knowledge itself was commendable and by divine ordination our choice of spj school for global management is exemplary we were in the best hands vidyadanam sarvadanat pradanam wealth of knowledge is the best of all and so we set out on our journey the preparatory coursework at the start of the course was excruciating we had weekend classes weekly evaluations examinations assignments and we were graded For excellence in coursework, scholarships were awarded. Yours truly, too, being a part of the dean's list for it. Thank you for that, sirs. It was a great motivator indeed. That grind ended when, after being cleared by the ethics committee, our research proposals were accepted, or so we thought. We were allotted grades, and the grind had only begun. Our DBA batch is full of high achievers from varied backgrounds, batchmates from whom one learns a lot. We came up with many research topics, ideas, and propositions. Some worked, most didn't. I wonder how we did not shock our dean and professors. We are not an easy lot to deal with. During research, there were days of extreme satisfaction, as well as days when the magnitude of the goal I had set for myself would daunt me. My hero, President A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, his words and life lessons, and trying to achieve a share of his brilliance is what kept me going. 
Our professors were exacting and expecting and will accept nothing but the best in return. At the same time, our opinions and feedback were given utmost consideration. The pressures of a doctoral journey are many and in most ways it is different from other academic endeavors. Loneliness and time management are only a tip of the iceberg. I and many of my cohorts too have had our struggle. We have thought of giving up. But we were lucky. We were not allowed to throw in our towels so easily. Our professors are amazing motivators. And the course at SPJ is built with enough flexibility to accommodate challenge mitigation for doctoral candidates like us. My personal gratitude to Professor Madhuleti and my supervisor, Professor Shalini Chandra, for helping me through that. In our journey, the most important thing we learned was to move away from opinions and firmly establish erudite scholarship through scientific research. VBA required an amalgamation of scientific temperament with the knowledge we had gathered over years of our career experience. I chose to study blockchain adoption and given my software background, undertook a course to study it in detail first. Whether it be the research topic, literature review, or methodology selection, the hardest thing to reconcile with in a DBA is the last minute changes to, to our plan of action. Our guides were patient and unyielding because they know that good thesis can be achieved only through the rigors of well-established research processes. The university is uncompromising in its standards and ethics and commitment to achieving excellence of the highest order. Throughout, we learn to handle dissertation and prepare in such a way as to be able to defend our thesis. Every step in the course, be it the process of evaluations, the experts' panels we are exposed to, each building block has its contribution to our success. Sincere gratitude to my supervisor, Dr. Shalini Chandra. Thank you for always inspiring us, Dr. Sita, Dr. Madhuleti. You go out of your way to accommodate us, which is why we are here today. My cohorts are my friends for life, an exemplary, inspiring set of people I'm proud to be cohorts with. The unfortunate situation of the global pandemic has put all of us under extraordinary pressure, complicating our doctoral journey. Work from home at best is excruciating. However, systems at the university are contemporary and forever evolving. Pedagogy is state of art. Our professors are motivating and hand-holding us at every stage, all of which made my thesis possible even during the long term. The toughest stages like data collection and putting the thesis report together was completed by us under these trying circumstances. Immense gratitude to the Almighty, professors and to the university for us, for you worked as hard as us. To all of us who managed to reach here, along with work from home, an extra pat on our back, Committing over three years of known weekends is not everyone's cup of tea. Doctorate, the image it conjures up of university dons, professors in capes, a position of erudition, a position of dignified scholarship and of responsibility. I humbly accept this position today. Emotions run high and deep. The destination at the end of a journey of 3.5 years makes it all worth it. The grandeur of a convocation ceremony the university provost, faculty, professors, your academic capes and academic regalia, and we who have burned the midnight oil to earn one of those foods. Heartfelt gratitude to SPJ, our dean, professors, and all others who have worked hard to organize this virtual convocation for us. For us to be hooded, thank you so much. Finally, immense gratitude to the universe and its creator for conspiring to make this happen, giving me the most fulfilling journey of my life, even under the most trying circumstances. Thank you. Namaste. Well, thank you very much for sharing your experiences with us, Shujata. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd now like to invite Ankita Mehta. Our graduate from the EMBA Mumbai cohort to read the student pledge. Now, for this, I would ask all students to please stand. Thank you.
Please repeat after me. We, the students of the graduation badge of SPGEN School of Global Management, commit ourselves this day to all our stakeholders with full dedication and integrity that we will uphold the interest and value of our institution. We express our intrinsic desire and wholehearted commitment to bestow the best to the society, peers, family and to the world at large in discharging our responsibilities and enhancing the value proposition of all our moral and social endeavors in our life. Thank you. Well, thank you, Akita. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as a special moment in today's graduation ceremony, once again, I'd like to invite our head of campus, Dubai, Dr. Christopher Abraham, to introduce today's occasional speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, on this memorable, beautiful day, what better than have a multifaceted, distinguished professional who had excelled throughout his career across diverse industries, entertainment, media, and also dabbled in philanthropic initiatives. It's my pleasure and privilege to introduce to you the special speaker for today's momentous occasion, Mr. Mitch Lowe. Mr. Mitch Lowe, a very checkered, colorful career. And to start with, he was one of the founding members of a particular entertainment platform that probably each one of us would be using day in and day out. Mr. Mitch Lowe had the privilege of being with Reed Hastings and as part of the Netflix founding team. And he also had a stint as the president of another entertainment company called Video Droid, after which he moved on to McDonald's, Burgers Galore, as the senior director and vice president of operations. He then moved from McDonald's to, again, the media industry. He was the CEO of Redbox and then the CEO of Quarterly Company. Mr. Lowe wanted to pursue philanthropic interests and was elected as a board member of the Charles Tillman Cornerstone Foundation, which did major appreciable work with women and children. And he was also on the board of Cantaloupe Systems. And his last assignment was as the chief executive officer of Movie Pass. And during his time, uh, Ms. Lowe had the privilege of increasing the customer base to 3 million subscribers. Post his retirement, he is currently an independent consultant, a friend, philosopher, and guide to various media, entertainment, and philanthropic initiatives. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure and privilege to welcome Mr. Mitch Lowe, the special speaker for the day. Mr. Lowe. Hello. I would like to congratulate you on graduating in probably the most complicated time we've seen in 80 or 90 years. I don't need to tell you how challenging the future will be with the change in the way we work together, 
with the change in the way we communicate, everything has changed. And this is why this is probably the most important time to begin the next phase of your life. Now, I'd like to leave you with three messages. And these messages, these words have helped me and have helped many companies along the way. In fact, in many cases, companies like Netflix wouldn't have existed without innovation, humility, and focus. Now, I met the real founder of Netflix at a conference in Las Vegas when he was walking through the crowd with sandals on, a scruffy beard, and hardly looking like he was going to do anything in his life. I opened myself to him and was curious. And that curiosity is what is so important. Be open, be humble, be open to anybody you meet, even though you may think there's nothing they can do to help you. You can't imagine 10 years, 20 years from now, when that person will be the main person you call to help you solve a problem or work together to form a new idea. That is what is in incredibly important. That humility, that never burning bridges. No matter who you work with, if you have problems, solve them on your own with integrity and humbleness. The second word I would like to share with you is focus. There have been many times over the course and the history of Netflix when focus was critical. We decided to just do DVD. We decided to just do subscription. And then the company decided just to focus on streaming. It was all the other things the company could have done that they said no to that led to one of the most innovative companies that has really changed the way we consume entertainment. In fact, today, about 13% of all the hours that you sit in front of a laptop or a computer or your television watching entertainment are done at Netflix worldwide. And a lot of that came from that focus. There was a time when we had people who wanted us to do both selling movies, renting movies, and the subscription. We chose to just focus on subscription. We always had the mantra is, let's only do that one thing we can do better than anyone else. And that is what led to many of the successes. There was so many things we said no to. And in sometimes that was hard. I remember when we had to turn down tens of thousands of dollars of checks written to us to do advertising. I remember when we had tens of millions of dollars in a la carte rental, watching one movie at a time and the customer paying for it in order to move solely to subscription. The last word I want to leave with you is innovation. The entire future of the world is innovating, creating better products, faster and less expensive and more efficient ways to accomplish the task. Whether it's an internal process within a company you work at or it's developing whole new products. When we founded Netflix, we were looking for a better way to consume entertainment. We knew that the way it was done at that time in 1998 was not a enjoyable experience. You had to go to a store, you had to pick out movies, you had to return them or else you paid excessive fees. We thought there's gotta be a better way. And we weren't the only ones. There are every, every day, you will see a new product being developed that is solving an individual's 
kind of problems. One person didn't like how he had to store his family photos and he developed Dropbox. Another gentleman couldn't find a taxi and started Uber. Another gentleman uh, couldn't pay the rent and started Airbnb. That's what you need to be thinking about. What is it working in the world around you? What company isn't developing or offering the products in the way you want them, with the quality, with the efficiency? What can you do to make the world a better place? And in all that, if you can stay focused on doing that one thing you can do better than anyone else, being humble, never burning bridges, always staying open to anybody you meet, and being curious about them. Who are they? What drives them? How can you help them? And in fact, whenever you make friends, think first about what you can do to help them, even in a small way, whether it's a phone call, a gift, an introduction, that will pay off years down the line like you can't imagine. Stay humble and be focused. Try to do something that no one else can do. Get really good at it. Become an expert. I myself spent about 13,000 hours renting movies to people in stores. I developed an expertise on how people pick and choose entertainment. You pick your own expertise and be the smartest, most knowledgeable person you can possibly be. Don't forget, education doesn't stop now that you've graduated. Education is a lifelong experience. And lastly, be innovative. Look at the world around you and find new ways to do things that are better, that are faster, that are higher quality, that deliver a service or a product in a much better way. If you keep those three things in mind, you will be incredibly successful. And lastly, of course, be happy with who you are and what you have done. The worst thing in the world is to think more about what you didn't get than to be thankful for what you have received. You've gotten a great education, you're healthy, you're, you're beginning your next phase of your life in a world that has never been this like this uh, before. Be thankful and grateful for who and what you are. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for that highly insightful address. I'd now like to invite the Dean of our MGB and GMBA program, Dr. Bala Krishna Grundy, to announce the President's Awards for Global Excellence. I also invite our President, Mr. Natish Jain, to present the awards to our deserving students. Hi, I take immense pleasure in introducing to you the President's Global Citizen Award. It is awarded to one student in the entire Global MBA cohort and to another student in the Masters of Global Business cohort. It is highly coveted prize, which is a result of extensive evaluation by multiple stakeholders across the terms, across the campuses, looking at all the students in terms of the performance in the class and outside the class activities. Outside the class activities include participation in the placement efforts, 
participation in the global learning activities, participation in the student learning activities, actively engaging in professional readiness program, and above all, being ethically right and engaging in communication and marketing efforts of the school and has shown signs of being a good ambassador. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the Global Citizen Award instituted by the President for the Global MBA program. This particular gentleman was the President of the Placement Committee and an active member of the Academic Committee. His integrity, communication, ability to work in a team that is multicultural and professionally articulate his points of view are his key features. He has exhibited very positive demeanor all through the three terms. He has excelled in professional readiness program, project work, global learning, and he has engaged in activities which indicate that he is already a brand ambassador to the school. Ladies and gentlemen, this person has very successfully placed himself as a senior associate at the Price Warehouse Coopers in India. And this is none other than Rajat Chandramathur. Congratulations to him. I'm now pleased to announce the recipient of the President's Global Citizen Award for the Master of Global Business cohort. This student has lived up to the expectations of a true SPJN brand ambassador by actively taking part in university competitions, school social media, initiatives, marketing campaigns for the school. Being the president of the MGB Placement Committee, he is known for his leadership, teamwork, and global dexterity. He led the team very well in his action learning project and came out with very high impact practical solutions. His dedication, professionalism, and positivity will help him go a long way. He is none other than Anurag Jha. I congratulate Anurag. Well, thank you, Dr. Grandy. I now invite Dr. Gary Stockport, the Dean of our MBA program, to announce the deserving President's Award winner from the EMBA. It is with great pleasure and pride that I announce the winner of the President's Award for Global Excellence on the EMBA program. Several students from across the campuses and learning platforms were considered for this award, which is given for non-academic performance, i.e. for all-round performance. Many students were considered across the batches. Students from Singapore Batch 17, Dubai Batch 45, Mumbai Batch 10, Mumbai Batch ELO, Batch 1, amongst others. The award is given to, to a student from Singapore Batch 17. Vishwanath Venagopal 
from Singapore about 17. During his studies, Vishwanath was a member of the academic committee. He was vice president for public relations for Singapore Toastmasters and he actively took part in Toastmasters. He helped with the, with the new batch orientations given many very important study tips and he played a leading role including MC on the Singapore um, Family Fund Day. He received fantastic support from Dr. Banu, Dr. Veena, Caroline and Nisha. Very well done, Vishwanath. Well, heartiest congratulations to all our winners. Fantastic achievements, very proud of you all. I now invite the Chairman of the Board of Directors of SP Jane, Emeritus Professor Alan Lindsay AM, to formally declare the convocation proceedings closed. Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of the Board of Directors, I declare this congregation of SP Jane School of Global Management duly assembled, closed. Well, there always should be an element of fun in education. And now we're delighted to show a small film that I'm sure will capture and does capture the student's experience across all the SP Jane campuses and I'm sure this will bring back and instill many, many fond and happy memories. On this beautiful, memorable day, a day you would cherish and remember for the rest of your lives, fond, beautiful memories of all the various things that happened during a short but meaningful time that is spent on these hallowed portals. Special memories, special moments you will want to remember for the rest of your life. Times you spent practicing, times you spent socializing, times you felt like on the top of the world and times when you just chilled out with friends who matter and times when you were like a little kid trying to move away, escape from the realities of life and times you tried your hand on culinary skills. Memories and moments when you found time to be with friends who mattered, creating new relationships, new bonds and new experiences, even spending time with the animal kind and then times he experimented on various other things including taking trips on memory lanes and having food and fiesta with friends and well-wishers and then had those magical moments captured on freeze frame for you to recall remember and cherish those magical moments. What a beautiful time that you spent in all those hallowed portals, enjoying with food and drink and with friends. What better can it be than enjoying these special experiences and moments? Yes, with all the studies and the rigors of learning, you still found time to enjoy the other brighter, happier side of life. Of course, with friends, trying your stints at sport and games, and also trying to reimagine the child in you, in each one of us, bubbling, understanding new cultures, 
getting to rub shoulders with celebrities and feeling with all these varied experiences, it was well worth a year spent learning, living, and finally leaving. These moments captured on freeze frame would help us to recall that life was indeed a beautiful passage towards greater glory. And then with all the rigors, you still found time for your 40 weeks in different postures, in different situations. And then at a time when you thought this will continue forever, you realized it's time to bid adieu. Bid adieu to the friends and family that you made at the campus. Bid adieu to the faculty and teachers who taught you life's greatest lessons. Bid adieu to the varied experiences that you had on campus. And then look forward to newer beginnings, to newer adventures, and to newer journeys, and to newer destinations. Yes, though you might say goodbye, you would still remember for the rest of your lives these beautiful moments and you will enjoy and cherish them and probably share them as memories with generations to come. And while the campus gives a lonely vacant look because the leaders and managers have gone searching for their global destinations and destinies. We do remember these beautiful days, but more importantly, we remember these magical moments. From all of us at SV Jane, a simple tribute to all our graduating students. God bless you. Well, thank you for sharing those fabulous memories with us. And I'm sure those memories will stick with you for the rest of your life your time at SPJ. Well, everyone, on behalf of all of us here at SPJ, we hope you've enjoyed our postgraduate graduation ceremony today. It's been my absolute pleasure to look after you. Thank you to all our speakers. Thank you to our winners and thank you to all our graduates because you're the people that help to make SPJ what it is. I'll leave you with one final thought, and that is, go forward, grab every opportunity, make the most of everything that comes your way, live a full life. From all of us, to all of you, goodbye, enjoy the rest of the day, and all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>